Anistonville residents are reacting to a Facebook post from an elected official that they say is in response to a group of people asking a statue outside the old courthouse be moved. Some are now calling for him to resign, but others say to let it be. Eyewitness News' Grace Haba has the story. Very disrespectful and just an overall disgrace to the community. Shortly after a group of people spoke in favor of moving a Confederate statue away from downtown Madisonville, Hopkins County Magistrate Ronnie Knoll shared this post from another user to Facebook, garnering a lot of criticism. In part, the post read, quote, I really never even cared where you were born until you wanted to erase my history and blame my ancestors for your problems. When you start uh, identifying a certain group or Identif identifying people because they may be a different color than you are, I think that's just not healthy. That's not good for the community. If you are one of the folks that he disparaged in this, this shared post, then I think that that creates a, a real difficulty because are those folks going to feel comfortable going to their magistrate? Judge Executive Jack Whitfield apologized for Knoll's post. It's crude and it was offensive and it was inconsistent uh, with the county's commitment to promote diversity and engagement. There's a large group of people that think that Ronnie should resign. I would also have to agree that I think that he should resign. I'm not uh, calling for anyone to specifically resign and lose their job, but I will just say that it was very uh, disgusting. I'm sure he's gonna regret that if he's not already. And as for the statue itself, once you know why this is here and what it stands for, I don't see how anybody could be okay with it still being here. It's not going to bite nobody. It's not going to hurt nobody. I don't believe that any fact of history should be moved, regardless of what it represents. You know, people need to be educated. The future remains undecided. Because Ronnie Knoll is an elected official, the only way for him to be removed from office is through his own resignation. I've reached out to him today regarding this matter. He has not yet gotten back to me. In Madisonville, Grace Haba, Eyewitness News.